Hello guys and welcome to Rise of Nations. I am playing uh, I'm playing with the Persians against the Romans. Now we start in the ancient age and our goal is to make progress till the information age. It's a long way, but uh, I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's start by researching a new town and let's increase the production and also that brilliant okay my enemy is playing with the Romans Romans are, no are known as an aggressive nation okay I need three more people one two three I need three more people at the wood production. My wood is really low. And I can produce quite some of it. And this is the ancient age. Give me another citizen, please. Okay. You must build a city over here. These hills are really nice. Nobody can go through them. Mm hmm. Yeah. I will make five people. Five of them. I'm gonna send them over there. I wanna start with farming here as well. Of course, wood production. There can be, oh yeah, let's build this guys, we, are, we also need a temple, so the market and the temple will generate money, the temple through taxes, the market through commerce, finish that, oh I love this soundtrack, it's really cool. We found something. Reduced cost of units upgrades reduced by 20%. Caravan. Okay, the caravan will trade between our two new towns. Okay, wood seems to be a problem, but not only. One, two, three. spend a little time here in the ancient age <sighs> as we progress through the ages we will be able to generate more resources only by uh, making upgrades okay I need two more and I think I'm gonna get one more for food production Food, food, food. Wait, wait, temple. Let's create a mechanism. Persian skies. Really cool. We chose a good nation. Now I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a production now. A hundred and ten timber. So the production needs uh, the the production needs to be increased. There is a limit of production of a hundred. I mean, it was kind of removed it now. Commerce level to coinage can be researched. That's good. I 
wanna build a temple. Two more. Okay, I'm gonna add one more guy there. And two more at the food production. And I'm gonna get a few more to build another town. It's a poor area. Poor area indeed. Let's go to the next stage. Clearly now some things will change. For example, I'm gonna need science level two over there in order to be able to build uh, the granary and the sawmill. The granary and the sawmill will allow us to produce more without making more people. and construct buildings and wonders 10% faster well my friend I kind of need a merchant let's clearly increase the production of of wood <coughs> all right This thing gives some bonuses that's are, that are pretty good. You know, aside from the fact that we get uh, some resources as well. The granary and the lumber mill, guys. To increase the lumber production and the food production. The temple. Temple increased city hit points by 50%. National borders plus 4. City combat range plus 2. Huh. Huh. Fine. I'm not so interested in that, but I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna build this temple. Granary. 80 metal for lumber mill. Not, that's not going to be too simple. production will be increased just now I need knowledge guys I barely get any knowledge where is my knowledge
The more scholars they make, the more expensive they get. Timber output by 50%. Production must increase continuously. possible to harvest it twice.
It's time to build some wonders. Okay guys, some things have to change around here. <clears throat> Need to invest some more into production. And into knowledge.
All I care about now is the production rate. So the enemy might have a city nearby. I need to build a lot of forts to show my strength, protect my borders. Nice. It looks. Uh, it looks cool. A Persian nation. They got a pyramid? Well, I guess I didn't need it, if they have it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get a terracotta army, actually. It's a very good investment. It will generate it will generate things for no no cost at all. I'm gonna put those things over there just in case I change my mind. Okay, I need to set up the capital. <coughs> it's gonna be this one. I need to build a forbidden city just to get an extra city so I can build an extra wonder.
Now let's choose. Let's see the okay. The despotism gives us military research and barracks units 15% cheaper, and we received the despot <laughs> the despot patrol general also supplies line of sight and plunder bonuses, and the republic increases uh, the the commerce limit increases by 50%. The general who also provides healing, bribing, and building, blah blah blah. No. I want units cheaper. Monarchy and democracy. Technology is 20% cheaper than now, thank you. Stable units are 25% cheaper. I want that. Okay, this is going to be our first conquest. What? They got the Terracotta army before me. The enemy is still behind us, however. The enemies are trembling at my side. Borders are shrinked. <laughs> Just look at him. Not doing so great at the moment. And it is time for us to make progress. It looks like we're a bit behind. This is what I call progress.
we got the war elephant unit specific to the Persians and we got as far as to the industrial age guys that's a really nice what's that reduces all timber cost by 25% oh, I cannot miss that Twenty-five percent. Let's get a war elephant because it looks pretty damn cool. Look at them. Nice. Wanna see them in action? I do. thing intervenes and that is oil Okay, I don't want the oil of my enemies. I have cornered my enemy.
The Taj Mahal is a freaking crazy deal. Increases the oil income. I think Kremlin is even better. the wrong place my friend Yeah, I'm gonna go with prosperity. <sighs> I've got no other option. I'm going to require a lot of uh, resources. I don't want to destroy the, the wonder. We captured the territory over there. So we will push further more. They've got the air units, so let's counter. That city will be assimilated very soon. Oh look, that town has been reduced really fast. 
Finally, guys, I'll be able to generate even much more resources. So, as you notice, the Taj Mahal is a vital. Structure. 4,100? Damn. Capture the simulated. Okay, in 20 seconds, the Versailles will provide me some bonuses. Finally, I'm able to shoot at aircrafts. It's officially ours. Now, this is the most important piece. Area. I'm gonna try to capture it. And I'm, I'm gonna hold it in the meantime. Look, the capital, guys. First, let's take the Terracotta army down. Once the Terracotta army is down, he will not produce units anymore. Not long until we capture it. I want to build the F Eiffel Tower. Because it's gonna increase my oil production. Oil production is vital.
we can build their units. just being assimilated by me and if they don't capture their capital back in two minutes then they're doomed <sighs> let's make some stealth bombers and here let's research some nukes we gotta nuke them guys gotta do that Yeah, it takes a while until we research nuclear missiles. Okay, let's send some stealth bombers into that location and let's bomb them. They will never know what hit them. Cell bombers are hitting. Okay. We got to that part. And we also got the Eiffel Tower. And our production of oil has just been upped to the maximum. They will never manage to capture the capital in time. And I will never manage to launch the nuke because I'm gonna win. Yep. Yeah. So this was guys um, from ancient to information age. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. And also check out my official sponsor G2A.com. If you plan to buy anything from them, you can always use the SHD code to get 3% cash back. Take care of you now. Bye-bye. And also check out um, my other videos with Rise of Nations. Bye.